Hello everyone, uh, this is Latana and in this video I want to talk to you guys about chokes and spreads, uh, overprinting, uh, doing underbases really. So when you're designing in Corel and you uh, need to make an underbase, a lot of, I noticed that a lot of people are getting off on registration and things like that. There are different things that we can do in Corel with our artwork to keep everything in perfect registration. Now, I've seen a couple of videos on um, chokes and spreads and everybody wants to know, you know, what's the deal on it. It seems really complicated, but it's not. So I'm just going to show you something. I'm going to hit Control D and that's going to duplicate. I just duplicated what I had there. Let me go back and make this top layer yellow. Okay. Now, if you look at this top layer that I have, it's yellow and this is called butt registration. Even on the computer, I can see a little bit of overprint of the bottom of the black color but it is directly on top of it. Now, let's say in the event that I was printing uh, these words on a shirt. Let's go here and go back to page. Okay. Anytime that you want to um, kind of simulate what something's going to look like, let's say we were going to do this on a black shirt. If you take this your rectangle, uh, click on the rectangle tool two times, double click it, it'll put a box around there and then you can do a uh, black box. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to remove that. Oh, should not remove that. Okay. Just make that white. Okay. So this would be our under base. And then of course, so what we're going to do is I'm going to hit control D. It's going to duplicate it. Now I'm going to print that yellow on top. Okay. If you're color separating your design like this, what you're doing is butt registration, which means there's Everything is very tight and your press cannot get off. Now I'm going to right click on my design a little bit. Kind of zoom in. So what happens a lot of times if you go to the press, go back over. Okay. Now when you go to the press, if your press is off register just a little bit, then you get this white outline showing. If you're off a lot, you'll get something like that. You may be off over to this way or you may be off going up and down. So, how do we remedy that situation? It's an easy fix. So, what we're going to do is, the first thing I'm going to show you is overprinting. Now, you can, in Corel, you can right click and click overprint fill. Okay? What I do I can, if you want to spread this, you can go up and it's as simple as clicking on, let me see what color I'm working with. I'm working with the Pantone process, yellow. I'm going to actually make it this pink here. Okay. It's as simple as right clicking on the same color and adding a, uh, an outline. Okay, so I'm going to double click this outline so it becomes larger so that you can see it. So right now what we did is we put a half a point on there. Depending on your artwork or how uh, much your press is off register, that's where you would know. But two points, two points is really good. Okay, so here's the outline. Now, let's t I'm going to take my cursor and I'm going to move over one point. Okay, I'm going to move over this way one point, this way one point. Okay, I'm still off. Oh, 
Oh, I don't have the outline on there. Sorry, y'all. Let me go back and put that outline on there. So I want a two-point outline. And I'm going to make the same color as my artwork. I'm going to hit OK. OK. Now I've got that outline up underneath the uh, my white underbase. OK. And I've got a two-point outline. Now I can go over. You see when I click over, I'm still on register. I went over like three times before it took me off register. So that's one way. Okay. Now let me go back and undo that. That's one way to underbase your artwork and to align it. That is called spreading. Okay. I'm going to delete that. Go back to our regular, uh, to, to the wording that we have here. And I'll come over a little bit. Okay, now I'm going to show you what choking is. Now, of course, if you were to actually be printing this underbase, it would be black ink, okay? Uh, but what we're going to do is we're going to add a, an outline. And I'm going to make this a red outline. And for the sake of what we're doing, I'm going to make this uh, two points. Okay. Now, this would actually be, if you went to print this on press, what you would do is you would actually print this as black. Okay. And let's see here if I can click on black. Let me take this off. Uh, my background. I'm going to make my background light so that we could see it. And this outline would actually be white. Okay? That's choking. You just choke the design. Now, what happens with choking, let's go here and control D and duplicate it. I just put it back on top. I'm going to make it red. And then I'm going to take this outline here and do that outline like that. Okay. Now when I print this, I've got a spread and I've got a choke. Okay. So we choke the design and then we spread it at the top. So what happens is we're always on point. Okay. So even if, as long as you don't see this black when I move this, you're still on register. Because this under base here, this white that you see, of course it's not going to print out in your films. But this is just to show you how the design is off and you can't tell it's off. Now you're starting to be able to tell it's off because you're going into that white underbase. Go this way and you can be off a little bit. You see the white, but you won't see this when you go to print because again, when you burn the screen, this, um, this white is actually not printing. This is just to, you know, kind of simulate this to show you guys what I'm talking about. So that's the difference between overprinting and uh, overprinting and which is called spreading and choking a design. Now, a lot of times, um, I'm not too big of a fan of. I may not want. Sometimes it'll make your letters look a little bit fatter uh, when you put that. You know when you put that that uh, outline on there so you want to be careful about that um, normally what I do let's see and you can bring this down it can be a point um, and it's all going to the pen and also let me show you this 
you've got an overprint outline feature here also that you can use. So what you need to do is go in and play with this. And uh, you'll get good at it as you, as you create your artwork. Now, the automatic way to do this is to go to print and to output instead of outputting in uh, your separations here and I don't know if I'm using the right color palette or not on there but um, would be to go here and oh let's go to you have to use your device independent postscript file and print to that. You're actually not printing to it. Uh, it just appears that you are. It's just going to save it and then you can open it up and print it out. Um, if you use this option, you would be able to automatically add your trapping here, which would be auto spread. And you could do all of that, okay? And this would add it to text above a certain point this is what I normally use um, this will do it for me automatically in my artwork and I could put two points here and I wouldn't have to worry about that when I'm designing it would automatically um, spread whatever needed to be spread okay um, you can also click always overprint black what that will do will it always overprint your black ink so for example I've got a Mickey Mouse design here if I was to go in and select this to overprint black would put an extra little outline here around this black okay another way for me to do that if I'm manually doing my artwork is I'm gonna add a two point line two points is a lot and I'm gonna make it white so that you can see it okay so now that's white okay I just made it white so that you could see the overprint we would actually overprint that and do it in the same color um, as this design here as uh, the, the face so for example if the face was pink we'd right click and that would be pink and then when we printed the black on top of there um, the black would overlay on top of the lighter color okay so I hope that kind of explains it to you a little bit about uh, chokes and yolks. Um, play around with that and it's not really hard to do. You can also, let's say if I was going to do, um, I don't like doing solid under bases when I don't have to. So if I was doing uh, this design, for example, and I was going to underbase it, I'm doing it on a blue shirt, I guess. Okay, so we're doing a blue shirt. And I would go in and create an underbase for everything else. Um, just lock this layer. This is the black layer. So I'm going to probably go in, lock that black layer. Uh, let's see here. Edit, undo, move. Edit, undo the move. I'd probably actually put this on a different layer if it was me um, actually doing that. And I'll show you how to do that real quick. So let's see, layer two, this 